This afternoon in Atajayi, crowds gathered in the race village to cheer the boats off the dock as they headed out into the bay for the highly anticipated DHL import race. As they approached the line, there was drama right from the start. Puma, Abu Dhabi and Gru Palmer all jostled for position. But Abu Dhabi, as a lured boat, had the right of way and forced Puma to infringe. The protest resulting in a penalty turn for the US team. Camper did a great job of avoiding the congestion and finding clear air were able to pass the others and take the lead. Telefonica, who had started on the other side of the course, then jibed in front of the fleet to steal the lead from Camper and steamed downwind to the first mark. At the first mark then, it was Telefonica, followed by Camper, Gru Palmer, Abu Dhabi, and a great recovery by Puma as they closed the gap on the fleet ahead. As they headed upwind, Puma then moved up a place as Abu Dhabi tacked behind them. But at the front, Telefonica was sailing a great race as they approached the second mark. Behind, Gru Palmer benefited from an advantageous wind shift, which allowed them to tap right on camper to take second place as they rounded the second mark, with Puma in fourth and Abu Dhabi in fifth. Out in the lead, Telefonica looked unstoppable as they extended their lead, cheered on by a large spectator fleet. How could anyone catch them now? But then as they sailed up to Mark IV, disaster struck. Telefonica took the wrong course, a catastrophic mistake that allowed the whole fleet to pass. And Telefonica went from first to last, having up to that point sailed a perfect race. The Spanish team were then forced to sail all the way back to the mark they'd missed and were now a long way behind. Group Armour now found themselves in the lead and probably couldn't believe their luck. Then at Mark 5, Camper made a bid for the lead, seizing their opportunity as Group Armour lost speed in their approach. However, Frank Camus' team clung on and shut the door on Camper's advances. Chris Nicholson then found himself defending his second place against a Puma attack. The Stars and Stripes team managed to cross in front of Camper, however they couldn't capitalise on their advantage, and it was Camper who rounded Mark VI in second place. And that's how they finished. Gru Palmer crossed the line to win the DHL import race. Camper second, Puma third, Abu Dhabi fourth, and a long way behind in last place, a forlorn Telefonica. A great race then for the French team, skippered by Frank Camas. We are very happy because, uh, because we, we did uh, some uh, lo uh, big improvement uh, during the, this, uh, this kind of uh, race, the inshore race. Uh, compare uh, what we did uh, in, uh, Alicante, in Alicante, for example, and uh, it's always the, the boat uh, to the, the less mistakes win, but uh, for sure uh, every boat did some mistake all the time because it's very hard to manage this kind of boat uh, on, uh, on this very short, uh, short course. That win will now take Group Palmer four points closer to the overall race leader's Telefonica as things hot up in the Volvo Ocean Race. Join us again tomorrow for the Leg 6 start.